Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Der Bruder Krieg mod as the Eternal German Realm. And of course the DNSP and Ernst Realm. I apologize for not getting a video out for I think about 4 days by the time you guys see this video. But I'm going to make this episode an extra long episode. Uh, by my calculations, I uh, you guys are owed 4 hours uh, worth of content. So I think we'll probably just finish the, the series in this episode, make it an extra long episode. It, it'll be like that uh, that Seferovich video that was like 6 hours long. That was a, I saw that mentioned once on the uh, TNO subreddit. But either way, we are indeed back. I think we'll do a couple of things first. This the the French are sorted, aren't they? I think they are. No, not yet. Okay, not yet. Fair, fair. Hmm. Close that up. Do not care about it. Alright, we'll just let the game roll forward a little bit first. You know how the trade likes to mess up? Now. Still messed up? Yeah, definitely. The rubber is a big issue. It's not like we're completely short of rubber, but the trade keeps messing up with it. It's very annoying. Good from the Portuguese, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's losing France. No reason not to. I should get some from Croatia. Nice. <coughs> now we are of course going to be invading Italy because of their atrocious performance in the third and final Bruder Krieg as part of the wider second Europa Krieg. They were just horrible. Truly terrible. But either way, I think we are ready. Get our air force in place, actually. Uh, actually, no, not naval strike. Air supply. Where's the strategic bombing? Am I blind? There we go. Nice. Uh, yeah, you can also do Cass. Now. Uh, I think we'll just do that. Yeah. Which one of your naval bombers are any of the naval bombers? No, fantastic. Uh, carrier fighter wings. He can't do anything. I'm afraid. Unfortunately, not. No, all of you want to join this war. Uh, I'll hold off a little bit, but I think I think I will just bring you in just because it's so damn annoying seeing those notifications so frequently. Now, Italy, I am sorry about this, but you are just too damn annoying. I usually try and help you in damn near every series that I do, but not this time. I feel like Wesley Snipes right now in... Uh, Oh, 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 what is this? Like New Jack King or New? I think the song was New Jack Hustler. That's Ice T song, or New Jack City. Yeah, New Jack City. If you like Ice T in New Jack City, where he's like, uh, no, 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 not not Ice see Like Wesley Snipes in New Jack City, where he's like holding the revolver and he's crying at the same time. This is what that feels like. Uh, yeah, I should probably do it on you as well, since you're a puppet of the Italians. Sorry, Italy. It's nothing personal. Well, it actually, yeah, it is personal. It's so, it's so personal. You are so bad at, you are so bad at war. But somehow you, you are now actually flogging the British. I don't know how you're. Or no, not not yet. You're not. Never mind. I did a play test and, and they started whooping the British, and I, I just didn't. Whatever. Makes no sense. I feel like they haven't built a unit all game. By the way, it's time to die, Italy. Oh, you've called in Albania. Whoop de doo. I'm gonna call in my shooters, specifically Greece. When I'm not the leader? Huh? Oh, you're already in. What? What's that? Never mind. You're the autonomy of a subject, Belgian. Alright. Egypt's gone. That's good.
Damn, are those aircraft? Or just, is that just resistance? Damn, that's a lot. Must be uh, doing some sort of uh, scorched earth. Okay, you know what? Yeah, just... Non-aggression. Yeah, 68 power, that's fine. Yeah, non-aggression pact. You want to help out? Non-aggression pact, help out. Yeah, grand job. I tell you what, though. I am going to, even even in defeat. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Even in defeat, I'm I am uh, going to be lenient with Italy. So we're going to gain cores on Luxembourg, Alsace, Lorraine, and Nancy. This is for the Farm de Geheim Stats Polizei. La Resistance will be a threat. No more. National Republic of Brittany, National State of Normandy, the Bismarck Stat Legion. All get German collaboration. Minus 15% division training time. Plus 15% division organization. 20% recruitable population factor. And 10% conflict support. That's ridiculously powerful. The Geheimstats Polizei, or the Gestapo for short. I didn't actually know that. Yeah. Uh, will develop counterinsurgency tactics that will be invaluable to, uh, to suppressing the resistance movement in France. They will accomplish the German goal. Fall of Florence. Yeah. I, I think... I'm uh, not sure who, po who was it who pointed it out in the comment section. I'm not sure who it was. It might have been Costa, it might have been Juan Matteo, it might have been Giovanni Montanari, I really can't remember, but uh, they pointed out that Florence was the capital of uh, Italy. I was like, I, I didn't notice it either, I was like, damn. It's odd. You, I don't think I've ever seen that before. How many fighter, how many aircraft we're able to have, even though we're not building any? Oh, <laughs> something's never changed. Greece pushing into Albania. Love to see it. Air issues over the low countries, eh? Forty-nine fighters. That troubles us not. Also, uh, should I? Yeah, I've got steel. I'm gonna build some ships, some destroyers actually. Nothing nothing too fancy. Literally just uh, maybe an upgraded 36 destroyer. I did notice in my playtesting that we didn't have quite enough screens. Which is an issue. Wait, so it's uh, a 2 centimeter, a 2 centimeter, and a 3.7 uh, centimeter. Nice. Oh, of course, I have the extra ship module so I can... Oh, I can put so much stuff on this. Nice. Torpedoes. Gotta have depth charges, yeah. Hell, that's the whole reason I want the bloody destroyers to hunt submarines. Well, and the screen, but mostly submarines. What else can I do? Mine warfare I don't care for. Anti-air is always nice. More depth charges. Uh, Rapid-fire guns. It's going to be an expensive destroyer. This is damn near a light cruiser. Uh, depth charge is already really good. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the GHD, fine. More depth charges and another light battery. Nice. That, that is a hell of a submarine. So, what are these? How strong are these? 12.7 centimeter guns. All right, yeah, that is hefty. So we're going to have one, two, three, four of those. That is not, not bad at all. Where's that one? That's there. That's there. That's there. Yeah, it's, it highlights the same one for two of them. That's fine. We've got plenty of anti-air as well. Probably dual or even uh, triple or quadruple mounts. Of course, I don't think the Germans had... I think the, the, the largest 3.7 centimeter mount that the Germans had in our own timeline was just the dual 3.7 centimeter. But given how we have a much smaller air force than in our own timeline, as well as the fact that we don't even produce any aircraft, I can see us having a much higher focus on anti-aircraft technology. So I like to think that we have a triple or even quadruple 37mm gun. Uh, this was the Zerstorer. Okay, I can't uh, replicate the omelette on my keyboard, so I'll do the next best thing.
Oh, I've got a 40, that's not too bad. Pisces, please, in you go. Holy crap, we're getting a lot of uh, vehicles. I think slash you to 25. We don't need as many trucks and bump you up to 25. After that, I think maybe just more tanks. Luckily, we don't really need rubber for tanks. Would we? Not if we did. I'm sure there's something on the tank that needs rubber. But, uh, not represented in game. There really needs to be more resources in game. Aggression pack, of course. Give you that. Now, we have finished the. Yeah, also, yeah, so. All of these, uh, all of these uh, puppets are no longer puppets. These are now considered free countries, even though they're still shattered. Um, it's, I, I think it's because we did, not this, uh, Genkagu loyalty. Yeah, I think it's because we did this. So I don't, like they're not even like the light, the smallest level of puppet. They are fully free and considered an independent faction member. Which is kind of crazy to be, to be honest. Kind of makes me wish, wish I could now just have a unified France instead of having all these smaller countries. Kind of annoying. You'd think we do at least something with the uh, Occitans down here in southern France if we're going to have them be independent. Mm, yeah. Einfach nur Slaven. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what Einfach means, but it's clearly about the Slabs. At the last war, Trans Division recovery plus 5%. With the brother traders and the weak heirs finished, it is time to face the greatest threat of all the great Slavic wall of men is preparing their attack on us, but the German does not wait. No, he attacks, driving into his enemy like the bolt of heaven. Radio detection, fantastic. Oh. Here come the British! Interesting. You're fighting the Americans, and you still want to fight us. Very good. Well, we have 278,000 men on the way to Repelio. Did I get rid of them already? I think I did. Okay, so I'd say we'll do what? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like an Atlantic wall. Is that covered there? Yeah, good. Of course, we'll do the this area. I think maybe, maybe, maybe just something like that. that seems enough, to be honest. Yeah. 35, damn. Hmm. What, what if we got rid of the German territory? Yeah, yeah, just just focus on the, these areas. Go and repel the British, please. Oh, somebody needs to go take care of that. Right. I nominate ye. Military access from the Ottomans. Aren't you in the... No, we can't have that. Oh, another level of uh, air doctrine. Fantastic. Formation fighting. Casualties here. Ah, oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, and you're again. Oh, and you're, you're already gone. I don't even have to cross into Sicily. That's fantastic. Love that. Goodbye, Italy. Nice knowing you. Def yeah, I'm gonna take your fleet. Don't have enough war score. Shit. Oh, do I not have player led peace conferences enabled? Why don't I have player led peace? Oh, that is annoying. Okay, how many? How many can I take? Huh? I've got six hundred and eighty-five. This. Hey, what? 685 and I can't take one that takes that costs 72. No, I can't. Okay, good, good, good. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, selected. I've selected three. Oh, my bad. I just unselected. Oh, lad, I just unselected them. So I think I can take that. Yeah. I'll take those. I'll be taking those. Uh, those ships, please. And then I'll turn you into a puppet. Puppet you everywhere except like your your uh like this stuff. Yeah. Forget forget Africa. 
That's going to the British. And to be fair, it'll be going to the Russians soon enough. Calabria, Sicily, Sardinia, yeah, all of that is mainland Italy. And I don't have enough. Okay, okay. Reset the demands. Give me the ship. Thank you. What have the British taken? Change of government. Ah, oh, Greater Albania. They're taking Al Jack Boob. All right. So now onto the puppet. Got one three twenty seven. So we'll just. Can I afford this? Yes. Corsica, Salerno, yeah. I can afford this, yes? Because I've got 1327. Okay, that's literally everything I need. Except... You're gonna give me that. Give me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I think that's... Uh, oh no, resource rights, resource rights. Yeah. All that. How little it costs to get resource rights. Resource rights are useful, lad. <laughs> War reps, yeah. I'm gonna take... Oh, oh, I'm gonna Manchuria the shit out of Italy. Oh, hell yeah. It's gonna be called the Italian plan in this timeline. Destroy military factories in the state. That's so stupid. That's whack. I hate that. There actually generally needs to be like a... A rip industry out of Manchuria option for like peace deals where you just take their industry. I know, I know it kind of has it with the war reparations, but it's not nearly as cool as actually just being able to bring the civilian military factories, dockyards, whatever silos, and just put them in your core territory. You know? Satellite Ost Africa, I'm not interested in that, I'll be honest. Uh, let's go here to the British and just make them take these states. What is there left to take? Nothing really. Good. I think that's everything. Get resource rights there too. Yep, I think that's about it. War reps. Got those. Dismantle mills. Don't like demilitarized zones. Yeah, I think that's everything. Hopefully the borders don't look too bad. No, they look just fine. So we've got Marseille. Did no one take that? That's a pain. And the Caliphate of Cordoba. And you're in my faction somehow, eh? Okay. Oh, you're still here. Oh, of course I didn't take Sicily. Ooh, whoops. Oopsie daisies. Okay. Gonna need to rectify this. Country annexing tool. Italia Zora. Obviously, I did not mean to do that. Into the Italian Revolutionary Consulate. Yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah. You. Into you. And we'll give Greece a puppet as well. No, that's the wrong thing. Oops. No, 
nice. Welcome to the faction. I know Italy had those territories. I think I already gave Greece those territories. Yeah, that's fantastic. Not too bad. Who's in charge? How are you still in charge? Okay, you know what? That, that might make the whole transition easier. You kept your units? Kind of. But you didn't keep your navy, though. I kept your... I, I could have used those as storage. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I, I really have no need of a puppet here. So what we're going to do is just this. Put that into losing France. Uh, I didn't work. I didn't click it. Oops. Nice. Yeah, that's a decent amount of extra factory. Oh, I th think that probably loses me the resource rights on the... There is no resources there. That's interesting. I think I'll let the yeah I'll let the Italians hang on to their western territories. They've lost enough. <laughs> it's early. Damn, casino has got thirty aluminium. Hmm. I have to take that. I don't, I don't want to fight the Swiss though. Uh, actually, no. What am I saying? It would make perfect sense to fight the Swiss. Oh, look at that. We can do an e we can do an even division as well. We'll give this to probably yeah the Bis uh, Bismarck Stat Legion. Give take this for ourselves. Give that to Italy. Perfect. Perfect. And the British have taken all of this? No, they haven't. Why haven't they? That's awkward. That looks ugly. Look at that strip. Yep, can't forget about down here. Oh, I think that's pretty fair. British got all of Italy's African territory, not that they'll be able to hold it for long. And we got the fleet and the puppet Italy. The British were trying to take territory on the continent. I'm not, I was not going to allow that. Oh. It's not great. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to do something about that. Can we get mech too? That's tanks. I'll take tanks tomorrow. I said though, mech two. It's a forty-two tech. Okay, it's a, yeah. No real point getting it then. Ooh, medium howitzer. Better radios. Yeah, better radios. Achtung. Now it's time to leave Italy. Angetreten. Because while I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that we can beat the British, these landings still do absolutely pose a threat. Combat seems to be a bit quiet. It's odd. Now prepare for the struggle. Modify the last conflict by consumer goods factories minus 3% factory out plus 5% but only dedication can bring victory for the triumph of the will to occur. It must be preceded by the struggle and our people and soldiers must be willing to sacrifice all for the Vaterland. Yes, you can all join. 
faction now boasts 500 factories. Also, yes, we have uh, these Italian ships. Oh, baby. We got nine battleships, three heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, three destroyers, and 16 submarines. Where are you? You're in Schleswig Holstein. Fantastic. Bump up the factories for repair. Angetreten. And the British have been dealt with. How many casualties was that? Oh, wow. Quite a few. <laughs> we now top the charts. 177k. Not bad at all. Nuclear research. Now I think is a good time to start getting working on those synthetic refineries. We really need rubber. And as soon as we start getting those tanks, we will really need oil. Forget four military factories. Just get that down. More French resistance. Oh yeah, never mind. It's still popping up. That's fine. Now, worshipping the Nordic gods. We must choose a Nordic god to worship this season in order to better our nation and promote the Scandinavian blood we have. The deity we choose will have profound effects on our nation and further prepare our people to ascend. Currently we are worshipping... Denar. Denar is the mighty god of thunder. We dedicate the Blitzkrieg to him and, we, and he will uh, bless our brave armored warriors. 10% armored division attack and defense for 90 days for 0.25 daily political power cost. Tyr. Tyr is the god of courage, the one-handed soldier. We will worship him that so, so that our men will know no fear as they fight for our homeland. 10% infantry division attack and defense for the same political power cost. Freya, the goddess of prosperity and fertility, with her blessing, Germany will know no hunger and good times will come to our land. Plus 10% monthly population and minus 5% consumer goods factories. Njord, 20% dockyard output. The god of sailors and all that is good about the sea. Njord's blessing shall ensure we rule the Caesars as our Viking ancestors. Frey, 20% factory output. The god of summer and fertility, then the new Volkish interpretation of his domain includes our industry and production. The grace of Frey shall ensure our workers labour long and hard for the war effort, or Woden. 10% stability. Woden is the all-father. Wise and powerful, his blessing will ensure a strong and united journey. That is ridiculously overpowered. Doesn't even cost little part to do these decisions, though it does, you know, cost you little part for the duration of it. That is not bad at all. What do we finish here? Proved anti air. Oh! No, no, I think we I think we are flak panzers using the improved anti air, no? Yes, fantastic. So now let me see. Actually, you know what? You know what? What would make a lot of sense? Uh, there's a resource rights thing here, is there not? I could have sworn that there is. No, it's a state. It's a state managing tool, isn't it? Resource rights. There we go. Can't believe I didn't think of this beforehand. That's the easy way to do this. To uh, do this. Oh yeah. Not Greece though. They're kind of independent. Fantastic. I should stabilize things a little bit. Because all of you are puppets. I know, I know. Eh, maybe we should. I feel like we could make. Yeah, I feel like we, we could make something better out of Hungary. Okay, I'm actually. I'll actually. I can't undo it. Hmm. Maybe if I just click the same thing again. Oh. Balls. How do I ungive resource rights? Sorry, hungry. Should have taken it from you. 
Oh, shit. Serbia's not even my faction. Oh, sugar. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Uh... I tell you what... Uh... Hmm... Oh! Gosh, I'm stupid, lad. I don't know how to do it. I just... Mark all states. And then I give you. I can give you your own resource rights? Ah, oh, sugar. Okay. In that case, I don't know how to do it. So, I'll try to give it all to Romania. And then... Mark all states. Shit. Hmm. Well, obviously, I'm gonna. I'll, I'd rather have it over Romania, so that's a no-brainer. Okay, you know what? Uh, Royal state of Serbia. Leave Russia's faction. No, not no. Do not do that. Actually. Holy shit, I nearly added uh, the fringe into the faction. I need to clear all the marks. Why can't I do that? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now, politics tool. Serbia. Marked. Why is Greater Albania marked? Hmm. Anyway. Yes. Royal State of Serbia leaves Greater Slavic Entente. You were not supposed to join in the first place. So I'm going to take you back. Obviously, you'll still be at war with Afghanistan. So, mark you. you're still fighting them, obviously, because you're not in the same faction. Fantastic. So yeah, you're already fighting all those people anyway, so that's perfect. Now you are in our faction. Thank God. Uh, also, we will state managing tool, mark all states, give these resources to Greece. Is there anything else for us to do? Don't think so. With regards to resources. I would remove them on Hungary if I could. Hungary should be an independent power. Or at least moderately independent. I shouldn't have taken their resources. 4,000 steel, my god. These are getting some oil, though. That's nice. We're actually getting 90 stamps. That's, that's a lot. Okay, so we got cores on... On Yi. Yes. Okay. And you. But not you. That's stupid. I want I want cores on you. And I'm also going to take this opportunity... First, actually, clear all marks. Yeah. I'm going to take this opportunity to get cores on... This territory as well. Yeah, it says uh, Carlonia, but I th I'm pretty sure it's Carniola. Pretty sure I've seen it spelled that way. Now. Yeah, that's a nice faction. That is a nice faction. Yep, yeah, and the Brits, holy crap, the British are losing quickly. <laughs> yeah, the remnants of the French are here. With a new leader for some reason. Is all of that Algeria? That's weird. Algero-Moroccan blood, blood feud. Yeah, Roosevelt Corollary. It's a decent-sized faction. Also, our faction now has 548 factories, which is fantastic. We're on war economy. Yeah. It's just that we're getting that... Is it like 15%? No, 10% religious divide. Okay. If we could get rid of that, we'd be doing so well. Get down to 20%. Le Midi. Isn't that south? Of France? Hello, British. Achtung!
Take care of it, Paulus. Achtung. Bereit. Who are we gonna send to the east? Angetreten. You fall into Hopner. Befehle. Give an infantry division to Heinrichi. Befehle. Heinrichi, I'm not really sure how it said. You get on the Romanian border. Befehle. Achtung. Divisions are inbound. Might lose that airbase. And we lost it. Winter clothing. Minus 20% winter attrition. Minus 10% supply consumption. Our soldiers will be ready to face the barbarian threat in the frosted... Holy shit, the British are coming. Uh, the barbarian threat in the frosted lands only good for barbarians. Our brave men will need winter clothing. Only a foolish man would send so many to their deaths with, uh, without even jackets. Angetreten. Two on the nose. All right. Angetreten. Ausrücken. Bereit. Bereit. Yeah, quickly crossed. Fantastic. Not a land fort, though, unfortunately. I probably thought that it was their lucky day, but it will not save them. Uh, on route. Fantastic. Right. We'll right. probably go under him. Von Bach. Now, oh, there is absolutely no way the British can break through. We've got 73 bloody divisions. Pannonian Basin. Not anymore, it isn't. Now, who, who should we go for here? 20% factory output size seems really handy. But our stability is shockingly low. We've got 52 army experience. I think that should be enough to kill out the rest of our uh, Panzer Division. I will take hmm how many 250 tanks for per division so 12 divisions would be 3,000 we'll say 14 panzer divisions three and a half thousand tanks yeah sounds good 
Also, I think I'll take another, like, 48 infantry divisions if I can. If I have them. So, 800 Italic Peninsula. Can you, can you take this one, Italy? I'll give you your support. So you can hold. You should take that. Just one fantastic. For wait the what? The Eurasian Federation. Oh damn. We've gone for oh what is that? Oh it's almost good. That's the thing. Oh I see what they're doing here. Yeah, it's the Imperial tricolor and the Panslavic tricolor, but done vertically. That seems that it's some that's that, that looks like something you could draw on a piece of paper. They should flip this so that the white lines up. Oh, I don't know about that. Also, it should be Eurasian Federal Empire, or Federal Empire of Eurasia, or something like that. The Empire's got to stay in the name. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the one. Okay, mad men with mad ideas. Unlocks chemical warfare decisions. Ten percent based conflict support. The leader of Germany surely doesn't believe the idiotic theorizing of the Volkis. Are you sure? Are we not the Volkis faction? But there is no doubt their idea is useful to Germany. Madmen they may be, but they have served Germany, and that is enough for us. I'm not going to mess with the rubber imports, because God knows we'll need more. The fact that we can actually trade with that. Oh, lad, we can actually trade it more. More states now. Fantastic. Just buy up all the rubber. Because their production of it keeps changing, so... Let's get as much of it as we can. Where were we able to see, to see the fact that we were a Strasserist dictatorship? Is it here? Yeah, there we are. Huh. Literally no change in regime then, for the Italians. Still uh, repairing ships. Nearly finished though, that's good. They were, I, I reckon that these were the ships that were damaged in battle with the Austro-Hungarians, because we certainly didn't. Maybe the British damaged them or something? But uh, I'd say it's, yeah, it's definitely the British or the Austro-Hungarians. We're getting, oh, of course we are getting rubber off the ground now as well. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, if that's the case, we can probably cancel the the, the really small ones here. Better radios, please. Now we have those decisions. Zero chemical bombs. Sauerkraut. <laughs> Invest in chemical research. Minus 5% research speed, minus 2.5% factory output. Effects when removed, the bomb's functionality will increase by one level. So. We don't have any bombs, but the bombs that we do have, which we don't have, are dysfunctional. Okay. I don't know how that works. So now we've finished all that. I don't know if we'll even get to do this, to be honest. We've got a better, better things to be doing. There is a research slot there, to be fair, though. Yeah, then there's this. I 
I think we should, yeah, maybe just start to start doing this instead. Those are horrendous, lad. Look at this. Our sole purpose. Add Enzig, which grants political power gain plus 10%, a weekly stability plus or minus 0.2%, unlocks Enzig decisions. With Germany united and our enemies laid low for now, our sole uh, purpose must be to prepare for the final war. Rome will prepare us for the trials to commence, and all the nation will be mobilized in readiness. Oh, that is a nice European faction right there. I wonder how many uh, new destroyers we've made. I think we've made, is, is that five? I think we had 92, so we've made five new destroyers? Oh, no. Never mind. We only made one. Oh, man. nice. Holy crap, 20% division org, yeah, I don't mind if I do. Universal service, modify NC by division organization plus 20%, plus 25% recruitable population factor, plus 20% army organization regain, minus 0.4% minus weekly stability, plus 20% division defense. All citizens, male or female, above the age of 16 are required to serve in the military. Some, primarily women, may serve in the army industrial corps, which will prepare our war economy, and some will serve in the military proper, but all will serve Germany. It is the only way to achieve NC. Western Germany. Jo oh. Could I theoretically put you out to convoy interception? And like literally hammer them as they came off the beaches? Or uh, arrived onto the beaches rather? Oh lord, don't do it. Catch them. Catch them, I beg you. It will be hilarious. Oh no, we got them! Oh, 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 oh baby, it's over. It's so over. Oh, okay, some of them managed to land. Yeah, I'm thinking we actually have to do this. Probably just be easier to do it this way. One division off. Angetreten. Seven. Damn. Crushing of the Catholic rebels over the past year, our efforts against the rebels who have decided to take their faith in the Pope as more important than their heritage has been successful, and we have managed to weaken their resistance greatly. So, okay, just knocks everything down by five percent. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Use the Empire. Modify NC by resource gain efficiency plus 15%, weekly stability minus 0.2%, production efficiency cap and factor out plus 15% each. An empire of resources and people is controlled by us, we need to put it and them to work serving their new nation. The work is never done while uh, threats exist to Germany before the final war. Which would be what? Endkrieg, I guess? I haven't heard of Endkrieg before, I've heard of Endsieg. The only Endsieg decision we've got so far is us unite the nation, which we can't do. If, uh, which we can't do and also do, do those foxes at the same time. Bomb production. Yeah. And finalized chemical research. Yeah. Good work, everybody. Angetreten. Keep training if needs be. 
Befehle! Achtung! Guess I think. Yeah, we'll get Paulus back. I also need to probably need to put Paulus on the Russian border. Someone's gotta be on the Russian border. I think a nice offensive line just to the Dnieper would be good. Maybe the Dnieper kinda the Dnieper in the Baltic, something like that. For our first offensive line. Oops. Can't get this, we have to have more than 50% stability. Okay. Inoculation. Add inoculation which grants deadly pistol power gain minus 0.1. A virus infects the body politic of Germania, the liberal scum and red traitors and the untouchables plot against our realm. Rome will cure us of these evils no matter how it, uh, no, no, no matter how it costs us. For how can we withstand the final conflict if we are sabotaged from within? I'm going to get better armor and better engines before I start building a new tank. Otherwise it's literally pointless to put a new tank into production. How much of this, we, of this rubber do we actually get to keep? Oh, hello again, Britain. You just seem to, you seem content to just throw your men into us. Also, yeah, we are uh, on volunteer only, which is crazy. Go to limited conscription, please. It's an extra one percent total population. Oh yes, I think we are safe to return to port. Have we fin we have finished repairing those Italian ships? Fantastic. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that's cool. We, we get to see the the combat history of captured ships. Also, let me quickly check the recording. I swear to God, if it's not working. Uh, no, everything seems to be fine. Fantastic. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon most of this damage is from the Austro-Hungarians and the British. Look at that. Damn. Some experienced ships here. Uh, yeah, I, I guess the, the AI doesn't train up its navy. That's why even though they've sunk all these ships, they are so inexperienced. It's unfortunate. Uh, 16 subs, though. I'm sure Donuts will be delighted. Nine battleships, three heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and three destroyers for the surface fleet. Now, here's how it's going to go. I don't want to be exposed here by... Why can't you go? Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do it like this. You're all there anyway. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to train. Oh, of course we have the Kiel Canal. Fantastic. We don't have to be worried about the Dutch. Uh, no, you can just... Yeah, just train there. Should probably split you up a bit more. Begin training, please. And begin training, please. 25 battleships, 5 battle cruisers, 11 heavy cruisers, 9 light cruisers, and 64 destroyers. We really need to get some more, uh, some more destroyers. Holy crap. Our screening fleet is inadequate, to say the least. We have to wait until February 41. That's like, that's like 6 ships a year. That's not great. But they are really good, to be fair. Alright. Now. Germs under our feet. 5% base stability. Every control state resistance plus 20%. Modify inoculation by weekly manpower minus 200. Daily compliance gain minus 0.15%. Modifies inoculation by... Okay, that's the same thing again. 
On the outskirts of our realm, danger lurks. The vile rebel untouchables fight against us, killing good soldiers and weakening us from within. But Rom's essay is ready to root out this treason. The outer lands will be German soon, indeed. 107 million core pop. Sweet mother of God. What's the, what's the 214k about? Is that like some random state in the middle of nowhere? Probably some Italian colony. Where is it? It's not here, is it? No, I gave that to the British. Yeah, that's what I thought. Where is it? Uh, <clears throat> it's not something. It's not over here, is it? It's often what happens. No. Okay. In that case, let's check our occupied territories. That usually sniffs it out pretty quick. There we are. Straight again. Straight away. There it is. Now, who has claims on it? Suriname. Venezuela, you are more than welcome to this. Let's just say that you seized it once Italy collapsed. That's the UK. How the hell did the UK get that? And I clicked on this. I meant to save Venezuela. There we go. That should be gone. Oh, that is nice. Almost 108 million core population, which is actually outrageous, but also lends credence to the, to the whole 130 million Germans by 1962 in TNO thing. Uh, factory output? Yeah, I think so. Yes, please. Pathogens in our hands. Minus 20% Division Org, minus 20% recruitable Population Factor, minus 20% Army Organization Regain, minus 25% Division Attack and Defense, and plus 5% Base Stability. Okay, so that, that fantastic modifier we got has basically just been wiped out. How can we raise our arms to fight the enemies of our country when they are infested with traitors? The army is insufficiently loyal to Rome, infested with reactionaries and careerists. To evict the rot, we must amputate and make a newer, better hand. Damn. Oh, I, kinda, I actually can't get rid of you. Nice. Ha, huh, striker. Hmm. How am I going to get more stability? Got to be above 50% to get these focuses done. Oh no, I actually don't have... No, it's only for these two. Okay, that's good. Oh, fantastic. Never mind, we should be just fine. I don't think that weekly... Mind, that negative weekly stability has actually kicked in at all. I don't know why. Turning up for a while. Is it just. Yeah, it's just uh, supply issues. That's fine. Offensive doctrine, charismatic. The virus in our lungs. Modify inoculation by production efficiency cap minus 20%. Factory out minus 20%. Daily compliance gain plus 0.1%. Gain base ability plus 10%. Our lifeblood is tainted. Our muscles are starved by the bankers, viruses in our nation and on our people. We must purge them and seize their wealth and Germany will be a better place ready to fight without backstabbers. Well, let's finish getting out this tank division. Uh, engineers, support artillery and logistics. And actually I want to get the other support companies in too but I actually need to research them. Yeah, yeah that's something I actually really need to do. Instead of working on atomic research and stuff like that. Get these two. Yeah, an advanced engine and all that. Those re uh, support companies. After all, we're making so much support equipment. Otherwise, it's just useless. Another level of air doctrine. Fantastic. They are certainly serving us well. Come up here to Germany. You too. Improved decimetric rate. Oh. oh, shit. 
Eurasian Federation. What is that and why is it so ugly? There we go, that's better. Yeah, you can give us... Oh, shit. Are we going to have to fight the Russians? I would kind of hoped to build up a little while first. You know, we only have 1.68 million men in the field. Then I have to defend ah, against no. the British. Oh, never mind. We did. There was me complaining. We just got our 48 infantry divisions. Fantastic. Thank God you were here, gentlemen. We badly need you. Yeah, we also had student. All right. I think we have modal as well, yeah. Actually, yeah, the two of ye wonder a new marshal. Von, Ham Von, Hammers uh, Von Hammerstein Eckward is doing something here, is he not? No, he isn't. Oh, okay. Victor Schutz, I get you 50. Yeah, okay, Von Hammerstein Eckward is here, so we won't use him then. Johannes Blaskowitz. Yeah, we get you. Perfect. Angetreten. Angetreten. All right. Same offensive line. Achtung. Okay. Five hundred and sixty eight thousand men is certainly a lot better. Befehle. We really need 835,000 men over here. Our stability is actually going up. I don't think that weekly stability is doing anything. Our parasites in our brain modify inoculates by daily physical power gain minus 0.1. Improve relations opinion minus 50%. Trade deal opinion factor minus 50 That could actually hurt our rubber very badly. Plus 10% base stability. The clergy undermines us at every turn. An alternative view of society from service to the realm is utterly unacceptable. If they know what's good for them, they'll stop. If not, they will stop by other means. Oh, bro, I was going to say what happened to the rest of the rubber. Uh, 100% areas. Not, not you. That's a coastal area. Yeah, right there. Handy. Perfect. All these areas. Saxon. Lignitz. There we go. That's the one. We'll get that one anyway. Still can't do Unite the Nation when I'm doing this, right? Yeah, that's right. Bomb production. Effectively, we will de decrease our number of bombs by one. So bomb production loses bombs? What? So confused. I'll get this first. The center of the disease gained plus 15% base stability, minus 150 political power. We get to 100% uh, 100 support for our party, the DNSB. Currently it's only at 41%, which isn't great. All the heart of all our problems is dissidents, or at the heart of all of our problems is dissidents. Those who think they know better than the state will never stop trying to prevent NC. They die or Germany dies, we choose the former. Thousand aircraft. Straight to the border. Train up. If you have to. That's fine. Bro, oh my god. British casualties are at 750. Week 339? My god. 
82% stability. That's yeah, that's way better. Now, ty oh no. Certified Radzievsky moment. Weekly stability minus 0.2%. Construction speed plus 20%. Fracture out plus 15%. Daily complaints gain minus 0.05%. It's not enough. Adults simply can't produce all that we need. For damn the children will serve the country. Even if not at the front, everyone must serve Germany. Still got 75% consumer goods on... Uh, or 75 factories on consumer goods. Gotta get rid of that religious divide. Wait, 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 wait. I could have sworn it was already at 10% before we got that event where it got knocked down. Huh. Okay. We're actually exporting a great deal of this rubber. Tighten our belts. More civilian factories? Yeah, I think so. Of course, this is getting us a bit of oil as well. Not much, though. Eternal Vigilance. God, that is a scary focus. Modify NC by Consumer Goods Factories minus 5%. Weekly stability minus 0.5%. Division Defense plus 10%. Land Fort and Coastal Fort Construction Speed plus 20%. Uh, eternal vigilance is the price of maintaining our country. Mobilization will continue. Fortification will continue. The military must remain at their post. There is no room for error. No time for weakness. We must prevail. Now, motorized infantry divisions are something that I definitely want to get. And it shouldn't cost too much to get them either. There, it's a standard... Motorized Infantry Division. Looks perfect to me. I think. Yeah, seems good. These... 48 new divisions. First of all, how many trucks do we have? That's that's the big question. Let's clean up this uh, stockpile. A thousand light tanks. Wish we could get something in exchange for, like... I don't know, breaking these down. That's another reason why there needs to be some sort of resource stockpile. Like, breaking apart equipment should, be, should like, add resources to your stockpile. That would make a lot of sense. Service ships are fully trained up. Some Marines are also f almost fully trained up. Wait, repairing? Why are you all repairing? They have exercises tough or something? <laughs> What's going on? Maybe. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen so many so many uh, ships needing training from exercising. Or from repairing from exercising. God, that's a lot. Why is it so much? I've never seen that. That's crazy. Rally the people. Modify NC by weekly stability plus 0.2%. 105 days! We must not give in now. We must be ready for anything. The people will not deserve pity if they give up and God lets them down. Stand up for Das Vaterland. I think we should take a look at that uh, national spirit so far. Look at... So there's NC. Yeah. NC. 10% political power gain. 15% resource gain efficiency. Minus 30% division org. Minus 5% consumer goods factories. Plus 20% army organization regain. Minus 2.1% weekly stability gain. Which clearly isn't true because it's not happening. 20% construction speed. 15% production efficiency. Oh shit, the British. Oh, 19 divisions! Hello, sir. Would you like to get convoy raided? Yes, I think you would. Yep, surface please. There we go. Oh, 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 here comes the fleas.
Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come on, get him. Get him. Eight destroyers, one light cruiser. A lot of ships. The submarines are here too, good. They should be. Oh, baby. Six destroyers, a light cruiser, some aircraft, and some convoys. What's this? Oh, <laughs> the tank divisions have arrived just in time to crush the British. <laughs> nice. Who are we gonna get? Come on, we gotta get someone good. Make Manstein Marshal? Yeah. Man, uh, Manstein, congratulations. Guderian, you have a commission. Please cross those divisions, gentlemen. Aggressive Assaulter, Offensive Doctrine. Charismatic. Panzer Expert. Oh, man. Nice. Fully motorized, yep. Yeah. Five more destroyers gone. Hey, service fleet! Service fleet! Unguarded British carriers. Go, 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 go. Get them, get them. Get them, get them. Get them! Yes! How did we not get them? Hit. Th th that was nice. It was nice. Don't get me wrong. But. I felt like we had them there. You know? Shice. Not some heavy cruisers, actually. Oh, and they're already dead. Wow, that was quick. We are almost out of fuel, alright. Turn to base. Good job. Begin repairing. Oh yeah, that netted us a lot of experience. Battle cruiser and battleship, yeah. Surface detection, rating efficiency, organization. Battle fleet concentration, more org, yeah. That's the one. Also, actually, Spirit of the Navy. Uh, naval refit yards, 15% ship repair speed, fantastic. That's huge. Oh, I should have done that. Maybe I would have sung something. Oh, well. Manstein, Darian, fantastic work. Uh, yeah. All of you got a match tonight now. Yeah. Same plan as always. That is a lot of civilian fa Well, it's not a lot of civilian factories, but it's a decent amount of civilian factories. It's much better than what we had. We only had like a single line there for quite a while.
Now oh, that's the most advanced level of radio, therefore I no longer care about it. Yeah, get some oil processing, please. Feel it. So now we have two chemical bombs, yeah. I think I think this is supposed to increase our number of bombs, not decrease our number of bombs. Still working on that, that's fine. Can't do that focus, that's grand. Back to 20% factory output, which is ridiculously strong. You'd think you'd only be able to do these decisions once, but no. You can just keep doing them. It's the difference between 8 tanks a day and 10 tanks a day, which is crazy. Out of oil. Okay. That needs to change. Subjects. No, we don't have any. Besides, we're taking all all the all their oil as as, uh, as it is. United States of America is the obvious choice, because we don't have to fight them. Would two full lines do it? Maybe. No. Oh, it's only one fifty out of two forty. Okay. Yeah, still though. There we go. That's better. Anglo-Egyptian Sudan is gone. Russians are just stomping. How can they doing so hot? Australasian Union, where are you even fighting? Oh, bruh! You're fighting in that territory? That's bad territory to have to be fighting in. Oh yeah, Pactor Freundschaft is still here, oh my god. I might do a renewed Russo- yeah, third Russo-Japanese war here in a second. Okay, I can't have them just sinking my convoys like that. The ships need repairing. The ships need repairing. Well, that's what Wilhelm's having. What about what about the other place I have them in? The submarines don't really need repairing, right? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. You go repair. And this one. Hopefully. That should speed things up nicely. I think so. Maybe. <laughs> we can't let that happen. 18 convoys being sunk. I mean, we have a decent navy. Start putting it to use, and we will. Soon. Tank division has arrived. We almost have all of our tank divisions ready. I was kind of trying to go for, you know, June 1941, same as our own time, but I mean, we did start from Prussia, not Germany. So, I think we can excuse ourselves for not being able to meet the deadline. Almost have single company? Yeah, good. How many men do we have in the army currently? Okay, 1.92 men. That's not too bad. That was more. Anyway, I, I got distracted by the British invading. How many trucks do we have? 31,500. That is good. Can we go to full motorized. Oh, we can. 
We don't need 10,000 trucks, so it's 10,000 trucks for 24 inch three divisions. I mean, in that case. In that case, we should be able to afford a lot of. Uh, yeah. Apart from the west wall. Angetreten. Don't know if I want to put fully motorized divisions into these into this kind of terrain, but Angetreten. You can hang on to those crack units, thank Angetreten. you. Some units are cut off from supply. What trucks do we have now? Less. How many men is that going to suck into the army? Not too many, actually. Never mind. Yes, I will certainly take your lend lease, thank you. Okay, there we have it. Now we have our support companies. How do I do it always? I think something like that, yeah. Field hospital, signal, logistics. And we have loads of support companies. Short of trucks, and that's okay. Now, oh, Capitan Prinzip. Captain's principal. I assume this is like the leader Prinzip. 200 political power, 10% base stability, 10% base conflict support. Gets event praise Rome. It is our duty to follow the captain, Ernst Rome. Only he can guide us through the final conflict to final victory. If we don't obey, we will fail. Hail Rome. Or Rome. We are almost fully self-sufficient in rubber. Fantastic. How much oil is this giving us? Nah, yeah, very small amount. Shame. There was no one to stand in the way of the German Volk. All the parasites have been eliminated from the national body. Everyone who challenged us from the inside is now dust. The final war is yet to come, but we are ready. Glorious. Well, yeah, we definitely have the long, the longest folk story of any of the contenders. Like, with Goring, you get to do this and this, and then you've got, like, mutually exclusive focuses all the way down to this for, for one focus, and then straight back to uh, exclusive focuses. It's the exact same with Von Schleicher. And Von Mackinson also has mutually exclusive focuses, whereas we don't. Nice. Now... Should we try and get, try and knock out the British? Maybe. Maybe. Unternehmen and Walrus. Uh, Walrus, I assume. Add preparations for Unternehmen and Walrus, which grants carrier production costs, cruiser production costs, submarine production costs minus 5% for... Oh, just forever. Dockyard, output and dockyard constructions, we plus 10% each. With the introduction of a blockade by Edward VIII, the time has come to start prepping our invasion of the United Kingdom. First, we'll need to invest a lot into our budget, a lot of our budget into our navy and dockyard production. Now, let's get von Hammerstein Eckward here. Or we'll get Hans Luck. Oh, we get mechanized too. Oh yeah, this is motorized and mechanized. Fantastic. Which we have more of, of course. Eric Rader, decisive battle expert. Yes, please. Yeah, we really need this. We can get another two levels straight off the bat. When's that finished? Nine days. Be interesting to see what it goes from. I think it only says an extra 50%, but we're only getting 844 at the moment, so it won't be too much more, but... Hey, fuel is fuel. We can't really afford to argue. Achtung. We 
we've actually got plenty of mechanized. Up to 1.2k. Damn. Yeah, I guess maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's probably right. I don't know if this, if this new 50% modifier will take the original values or it'll take the current values. Yep, straight back to Michigan. Frey, yeah. Crazy that you can just keep doing that. 20% factory output is insane. Can't do these for obvious reasons. Need excavation 4 to do these, okay. Only 10 drops, though. Then again, with, with, with 5 levels of... Uh, yeah, 10 drops plus 5 levels, that's uh, 15 drops. Oh, severe fire damage here, I see. Ready the realms, Marine? Yeah, that seems pretty strong. I'll be... I'll be tired. Actually, no, secure the Baltic Sea. That sounds like we might get some sort of invasion decisions. Now, secure the Nordic Front. Unlock the decisions. Secure the Baltic Sea. Scandinavia is strategically important for a number of reasons, namely the vast production of steel and control over the North Sea. We must act quickly to secure a strong position in the North before our conflict with Britain. Well, they went to war with us, so... We're a bit late. Well, yeah, I think we can now safely do uh, the to unite the nation for, with no consequences. Just takes three, fantastic. Fully decked out. I think the infantry division needs another one. Yeah, logistics. Angetreten. Achtung. Seem to be in quite a shortage of trucks. I don't know if we need 15 on that. Swap that around a bit. Damn, we're actually still upgrading artillery? I guess, yeah, we did pump out an extra 48 divisions. Air Doctrine, yes, please. Close air support. Hospital 2, fantastic. Straight to 3. We don't actually have all that many divisions in the east. No. To be fair, neither do the Russians, actually. Also, yeah. Make you a uh, motorized division. We'll only have fully mobile forces in the east. Apart from uh, Herpner's. Oh, no, yeah, Herpner's actually fully motorized as well. Oh, my God. We've got one million. Opener's got what? Yeah, 351. Damn. Okay, so secure the Nordic Front. What have we got? Secure the Baltic Sea. Public Hoax War goal against Danish Public Control Union. That makes sense. I think we'll do it with Hopner's men. Right. Well, really Van Blomberg's, but... Ready the realms, Marine. Modified preparations for Unternehmen and Walrus by naval sweep plus 10%, just straight up 10% damage, which is insane. We shall ensure that our realms, Marine officers led by Carl Dönitz are ready for the final invasion. With strong tactics, they shall surely be able to wipe out the Royal Navy. Surely. 
be fair though, that, that engagement, that was, I feel like we could have gotten something out of that. I saw like five battleships on low strength and we just got none of them. And there was four carriers there as well. Damn it. We had like, how many submarines do we have? We had 36 submarines and not one of those submarines could guess, you know, a torpedo through the, the screen, their screening, which was practically non-existent. Ah, uh, unfortunate. See a couple of these ships will need to train up, so please do so. Good few of these ships will need to train up. Where did all these ships come from? We trained up these ships, did we not? Ah, huh, very interesting. Thought we did. Scale back those imports. Oh, completely actually. Yep, they are sinking our convoys. Mind, gentlemen, do not train up anymore. Convoy rating right here. Please cast those divisions. Yeah, that's it. Get the navy in. Come on, Britain. Send in that big navy. Yes! That's one ship. Come on. There's our fleet. Yes, there's their fleet. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'll take it. They're there again. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Yes! We got one. We got one. We got one big one. I think. Yes. Fantastic work. Probably need to return to repair. Not, yeah, not, not really though. Let's see who, <laughs> let's see who, you, uh, who you'll be raiding there from now on. Landing in. 13 convoys. Okay. New plan. Convoy escort. No, what? No, yeah, yeah. Rating. My bad. Convoy rating. Those three C zones if you can. And you, convoy escort. Immediately engaged in battle. And the battle's over. Oh, baby. A big engagement. Huge engagement. Inbound. Are they leaving? Oh, man. Oh, I thought they were on the way. That sucks. Aww. Oh. Oh yeah, that <laughs> that was nice. I assume those are bad. No, the cruiser hulks. Okay, heavy cruisers, heavy cruisers. Nice, nice. 
Still nice. Wait, have ships split off to repair? Yes. Okay, get back then. Last thing I'm gonna do is get into a bloody, uh... Get into a fight where I don't actually have superiority. Or at least just don't have all my ships, you know? That was good work, though. Very good work. Did we get anything here? Spirit of Naval Command, Inclement Weather. Minus 4 defense. That is good. Positioning. Positioning is also good. Nighttime attack, nighttime spotting. Uh, yeah. Efficient communications, positioning plus 15%. Spirit of the Naval Academy, Convoy Warfare, Instilled Aggression, Best of the Best. But yeah, Convoy Warfare, why not? Oh, there's the British Navy again. They're taunting me, lad. They are taunting me. Well, yeah, we'll be leaving soon. It'll be over. <laughs> Top of government war goal. I'm afraid not. Now we actually forgot to declare a war on the, on the, on the uh, Danish. Oh, fantastic. This has knocked it down to 5%, I hope. Or something. Yeah, 5%. Glorious. Glorious. Oh! The gr Oh! Oh, why'd you do that, Grease? I, mi I admire the bravery, but ah, it's, the AI just doesn't coordinate. Alright. All submarines return to base. Do the Preussisch Realms Marine, or in this case, Deutsches Realms Marine. Oh, Greece, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Proved all processing good. First industry, yep. Cancel that uh, oil trade with the United States. More synthetic refineries. I think it might be start time to start uh, building up levels of infrastructure now instead. Just particularly in the good areas, basically. Except that, that'll give us more oil. We'll start with that. Also, yes, also uh, hold back. Don't want to be losing aircraft whilst we aren't at sea. Is a lot of factories. Actually, no, in this case, do a nice infrastructure and resource extraction plan. Max infrastructure Germany, baby. That's everywhere. Yep. Nice. Now, I've once again forgotten about the uh, about the Danish. Oh, did the war go expire? 
Oh no, I think that that gives work on on the Dutch. Maybe. By the way, it should be for the Danish, I think. I think so. Yeah. Talk about speed. Why, did, why didn't we take Copenhagen, gentlemen? What happened? Sorry, Danish. We've signed a white piece. Okay. Shit, I just actually forgot to click the button. Whoops. Well, that's awkward. better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Although, yeah, Northern Schleswig is actually mine, though. Wait, what? He still out of that, unfortunately. French coast. Hmm. Ships ready by any chance? If they are, we can totally go. Oh my god, we don't even have our admirals actually. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Crisis Magician. Loading Drill Master. I think we found them almost immediately. Where is the surface fleet? Forget what you are currently doing, get here immediately. There we go. That is so nice. Another six heavy cruisers sunk, 14 destroyers, three light cruisers. The British have got to be mad about that. Battleship Oregon, capital ship armor. Do not mind if I do. We need to repair for that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Turn to base.
I'll keep an eye on this, you never know. Got a couple of subs. Pair up once again. Ports of Rostock to build Oh yeah, naval reduction, reduction cost. Damn, I haven't been finally getting those naval battles that I've been looking for for such a long time. Oh, we get another level. Carriers don't have any carriers. Oh, but there are destroyer stuff down here. Destroyers, carriers. Okay, there's literally only one. Oh, but is it okay? It's just naval targeting in general. Okay. Submarines, yeah, sub that's more worth it. Kind of interdiction. I should do What should I do? So I maybe do Njord, yeah. Yeah. Get that docket output. I don't think that Translates to ship repair speed, but what can you do? You're all repairing in breast. Bad move. Up here, up here. It's just better for the repairs. Now, stop those missions again. I know. We finally cancelled that rubber trade? Not oh, yet. Okay. What are we doing on oil? We're full, almost. Which is good. Absolutely insane amounts of steel, though. <laughs> Look, I've never seen it iron. Aluminium, yeah, as well. How do we have... Uh... First of all, where are the British casualties at? 1.29 million, okay. I feel like we could probably get the British and knock them out. I feel like their navy has actually gotten hammered by ours. I don't know what's been happening with the American navy. I mean, that's a small British fleet. 127 to 153. Are the submarines still raiding? No. Huh. Also three, yeah, that's uh not much of a wolf pack. Yep, yeah, repaired, nice. And you'd like to wonder how you wonder how you can even damage a submarine without destroying the thing. All right. I want to see action. I want to see naval action. Go here as well. No, don't do close air support. Oh man, no. 
Have you been doing close air support? Please don't do that. Is that a carrier by itself? Because that's what it looks like. Where are you? Where? Just operating in the, operating in the sign fleet area. Okay, you're... Okay, wherever you are. Okay, you're here. Oh, baby. Get that carrier. Oh, it's over for that carrier. Yeah, there we go. Boop. What carrier was that? The Albion. Nice. Victorious naval Germany. Never thought I'd see the day. Oh. Big battle. Big battle. Crews are gone. Convoy's gone. Sub gone. Shit getting blown up all over the place. Hell yeah. Submarine surface attacks and rating efficiency. Submarine attack. The U boat. Port to Rostock at that. Who's getting sunk now? How are the Greeks actually let oh, wrong men? Stop doing that, please, Greece, please stop. So how many more tank divisions can we afford? I think we can try and get another fourteen. Need more mech, need more medium tanks. Overall, though. Overall, pretty good. Get that up to 20. Stop sending convoys through here. I feel like their navy has just gone away. Even more submarine buffs. I don't think I've ever finished off a naval tree before. You are engaged in naval battle? Oh, not bad. Up there, please. You were not moving to any damn naval base. The hell is wrong with you? There we go. Get up there and get that. <laughs> Afghanistan's finally gone. What are the chances? Hey! Get those ships. Come on, man. Oh, man. That was like 12 the stories we could have gotten right there.
Oh, is the British Navy up here? Maybe. Oh, I can't get too bogged down with this naval war. I feel like we've got the British Navy pretty decisively beaten. Therefore, I think it's time to go. I think I'll just take this entire Eastern Detachment. Straight into Portsmouth, maybe? It's got no coastal forts, and it's got a level 10 naval base. Casualties. Yep. Achtung. Ausrücken. Ausrücken. Damn, the Dominion of India's gone? Oh, man. Oh, poor. I've got 14 stores. What level of naval invasion technology do we have? Do we even have it? Because if we don't have it, then it's going to be a pain in the ass. We might as well go for the Russians if we don't have it. We do have it. Ten divisions. Fantastic. Alright. Angetreten. Begin preparing. I feel like we haven't damaged their land army too much. We've knocked out a couple of their, uh, you know, naval landings and that kind of stuff. But other than that, nothing too great. Bombing us or anything. A few levels of damage here and there. Still working on that dockyard production. Fantastic. While we are waiting for this naval invasion, we may as well go repair somewhere. Just have our fleece on full readiness. The Eurasians are going. The Eurasian Republic. So they've got. But they're still led by Carol the First. What? First it was first it was just Russia. I think it was just yeah, it was a Russian Republic. Then it was the Russian Empire. Then it was the Slavic Federation. Then the Eurasian Federation. Now the Eurasian Republic. Oh my god. Four chemical bombs, like how big are these bombs? Like is it like nuclear weapon big? You know? It's four chemical bombs, otherwise it 
is in a hollow pile. Now we will, yep, ground support, fantastic. We'll just divide. 8th of November of 1943, we'll get rid of that. Should be fantastic, getting up 5% consumer goods. Or rather, get rid of 5% consumer goods. How goes the repair? I actually can't believe we're getting these sorts of victories against the British. I guess it's because they have to fight the Americans as well. They're just split in too many different places. No big repairs either, which is fantastic. Pumping out those tanks, self-propelled artillery, half-tracks. Sixteen thousand pieces of artillery. Oh, agree, stop attacking, what are you doing, man? You've got nothing left to prove. Battlefleet designer. Don't have carriers. Yeah, fine, we'll get this. Vulcan Verka Battlefleet designer. You can never land in a port, can you? You keep getting landings, but nowhere actually useful. Okay, how many casualties have you taken in this? Too much, man. You don't need to do this. 38. Stop doing this. Don't act like we're making you do it. Yeah. Swap up this here. To cut that to 15. Give me more SPGs. Uh, oh. 10 tank to isn't really enough to smash through whatever they have. Now, we, yeah, they, uh, they've already got aircraft up. How are those repairs going? 25 days? Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually not. Yeah, you can take you can take those days. That's fine. The U boat. I think we're okay with all of that. We'll try and get the research slot. German armor. As long as the... Yeah, the Russians shouldn't do anything funny. They're fighting the British currently. You're holding out here, aren't you? Now... This again. Uh, yeah, factory output. It's just so damn handy. How many tanks? It's like three and a half thousand. Yeah, three and a half thousand roughly. Got another fourteen tank divisions on the way though. Oh, Greece, what are you doing, man? Please stop. Please. You know, you, 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 like, you know they're going to write the history books like, The Germans kept telling us to naively invade Ireland. No, we did not. 
You just did that of your own accord. Now, all infantry, motorized, less mechanized, organs, uh, recovery plus 0.2, organization plus 10, fantastic. And we'll take that with a smile. is ready. Move to your new naval base in Normandy. But all right, let's, I, I know I said, I think I said that I'd do a four hour episode to make up for the fact that uh, I missed four days worth of content and I wanted to but damn this is such a good place to leave it and uh, I'll be honest I've got I've got other things to do, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got a hell of a lot done. Did we invade Italy in this episode? I think so. It's been the longest two hours of my life. Well, I don't know. Not like, I, not the longest two hours of my life. Like, I definitely enjoyed what I did, but damn, that was a uh, decent play. Yeah, I think we did invade Italy in this episode. We invaded Italy, uh, invaded Italy, scored several naval victories against the British. Our industry is absolutely booming. Arms production off the wiz out the wazoo. Fucking finish this for uh, finish this tree. Like this is finished. There's no point doing this because you know that that's a bypass. Cause I don't know. Actually, would have been really cool to do this. It would have been really cool, but unfortunately, no. It, this would have made so much more sense. The British going after us is very annoying. Um, yeah, we were looking very very good. But all right, lads. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then. Goodbye.